Hey guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. This week I'm making a henna cake and we're doing a collab with Sweet Am's Cookies to show off our piping skills. I'm gonna build a three-tiered spice cake filled with crystallized ginger buttercream and finish it with some henna piping and a beautiful lotus flower. Let's get started. I'm gonna break down my six inch uh, spice cakes here. We're doing a hexagon shape, new shape, and new garbage cake. So we're just gonna cut this guy in half and we're gonna fill this guy with crystallized ginger buttercream. Ooh, it smells really good. By the way, if you guys want this recipe for the ginger buttercream, you can get it in a, I'll do that again. By the way, if you guys want the crystallized, it's <laughs> a bad start. Do the, do the, mouth, do the mouth stretch. Yeah. Oh, I need it. Oh, yeah. I didn't stretch you right. Okay. By the way, if you guys want the crystallized ginger buttercream recipe, it's in a blog post in the description box below. You guys should check it out. It's really good. See? Mouth stretch. Mouth stretch. I needed a mouth stretch. I'm gonna make some bamboo for our borders. You could do this by hand by just carving it, but I found this really awesome mold. Uh, the bamboo is all together whenever you mold it so you could wrap it around a tier. I'm actually gonna cut the bamboo apart and use it as a singular decoration. So I have a piece of gum paste here and we're just gonna roll it out a little bit and then press it into the mold. We're gonna add a little cornstarch. You just wanna to try to get it as even as possible. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? So now what I'm gonna do, I could actually take this and wrap it around a cake make a few other ones, and then you can have like a bamboo tier, but I'm gonna use it as borders, so we're gonna cut the pieces apart. So I'm just gonna follow the lines in between. Perfect. I'm gonna cut all these guys apart, and then we'll leave them to dry for about 20 minutes, and then we'll add them to the cake. Now I'm gonna make a lotus flower as like a statement piece in the center of our cake, but I'm not gonna use a lotus cutter. I'm gonna use a dahlia cutter, because this actually does double duty. When you cut out a dahlia, you kind of curl the ends. We're not gonna do that. We're just gently gonna shape it, and it'll look like a lotus flower. So I'm gonna roll out a little bit of gum paste here. We've got three different size petals, and we need six of each. All right, so I rolled it out, and now we're gonna cut out our shapes. Here, let's just cut out one of each to start so I can show you guys. And then we're actually gonna vein them as well. Here's our veiner. Put our petal in there. Vein it! <laughs> I don't know why I like that. That's awesome. <laughs> So if we, if we were making a dahlia, then you know, you'd make this really curly sort of thing, but I'm just gonna gently lay it into an egg mold here. Yeah. Petal former, but I like to call it an egg mold. <laughs> it looks like an egg. Remember for the Easter show? Yeah. We'll do our teenager here. She's the mom teenager, baby. Wait a where Where's dad? We can cut out dad too. <laughs> and then the baby. <laughs> I want macaroni. <laughs> Now I'm gonna cut out the rest of my petals and we'll let them dry for a couple of hours. The last part of the lotus flower we need to make is the center. So I have a little piece of yellow gum paste here. I Googled this. They have really, really weird shaped centers, but they're actually really pretty. So I'm just gonna make a little carroty turnipy thing, like we always do. But I want the top to be really flat. It's kind of the shape of a peanut butter cup. So that looks pretty flat on top, and then I'm gonna cut the bottom off. So then it's flat. Then it has little holes and also has these little hairy things that come out the side. The stamens, I'm actually gonna make those out of spaghetti noodles or biscotti, however you say it. So I'm just gonna poke holes in the top with my Dresden tool. Perfect. And then I'm gonna break up my spaghetti. This is actually thin spaghetti, just in case you're in the store wondering, what spaghetti did I use? If you use lasagna noodles, it's gonna be way different. Why does my spaghetti look all bad? <laughs> okay, as you can see, this is not botanically correct. All right, so we're gonna let this guy dry for a couple hours and then we're gonna paint them gold. I'm gonna dust the petals with pink powder color. I'm doing this over a paper towel so I don't uh, get stuff everywhere. Thank you. And I'm gonna start right at the top so James doesn't have to clean up after me. We want the color to be intense up here and then we're just gonna pull the color down the sides. We're not gonna dust the entire thing. We just want this to be a highlight. We'll do the same thing to the back. Pretty. All right, now I gotta do all of them. We're gonna assemble our flower now. I'm gonna do this with a little bit of royal icing. I have my petals here and then I have a chocolate disc. 
uh, that I poured out and let set. So we'll assemble it on that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of Royal on the back of each pedal and then we'll space them out evenly. So we'll do one on the opposite side here. And since we have six, we'll do two there and two there. Does that make six? All right, now we'll do our teenagers here. I don't know if I even wanna do the little ones, do I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for letting, not letting me edit my own cake. I don't think we need the little pedals. All right, don't do the little pedals. I'm not doing it. Sorry to pressure you. That's okay. I might actually take these and make a smaller flower for the cake, but I like this like it is, so we're just gonna leave those out. I'm gonna put a little crown of saran wrap around here so these petals stay up. It's a very cheap crown. Awesome. We'll leave this to dry for about an hour. I'm gonna wrap some stop signs with fondant. Hey, wait a minute. Stop signs are hexagons. No, they're octagons. They're hexagons. I think they're hexagons. Hexagonal. No. So what do you guys think? I think it's eight. They're hexagons. I think they're hexagons. It's eight. It's freaking eight. I'm gonna cover our hexagon tier with white fondant. I'm gonna roll this to an eighth of an inch thickness. So I went ahead and started piping so I could plan out my design. I'm gonna show you how I did it right now. So I used this teardrop shape that I bent a little bit to make sort of a paisley, and then I pressed it into the cake just to mark the fondant so then we can pipe on top of that. Right now I'm using a tip that's a zero and then I'm gonna come back and use one that's a number one. So I'm just tracing the lines of the paisley. This will give us our framework and then the rest of it's kind of just whatever you want to pipe. Don't be scared to just pipe. There's really no rules with this. It's almost like doodling. Looks like a whale with a mohawk now. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a whale, it's, it could be an eggplant too. It's a whale with a beautiful tail. With big teeth. <laughs> Hello. Stop. <laughs> I'm trying to pipe. Don't make me laugh, look what happens. We're sorry, Joshua. <laughs> That's all it looks like now. That's all I can think about. Stop it, Brandon. <laughs> so Brandon's like, it's like he's in church, right? And something happened and he can't stop laughing. His mom's, <laughs> I gotta change it up. so. It, I'm getting braces. Oh, God, I quit. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Let's do some airbrushing. We're going to airbrush gold on the center for our lotus flower and all of our bamboo pieces. I made a top tier in purple and added a little bit of henna on there as well. Now we're gonna add it with bubble tea straws. Now it's time to decorate. I'm gonna start by adding my gold bamboo pieces. I'm gonna do this with royal icing. I'm gonna add my flower with a little bit of chocolate. And now I'm gonna add my center with chocolate as well. Last thing, I'm gonna add a pearl border to the top and bottom tiers. Our henna cake is complete and I really like the way she turned out. I can't wait to see what Sweet Ams comes up with as well. You guys, don't forget to check out her channel. We'll put it in the description box below. If you want any of the tools or recipes from my show, click the eye in the corner or they're also in the description box. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave me a comment Tell me what you guys wanna see in future episodes. This is gonna be delicious. Spice cake! Mmm, that's spicy.